Ukraine is preparing to deploy newly received US-made two CT Hawkeye 105mm self-propelled howitzers in the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war as revealed by a Ukrainian telegram channel. The video showcases using one of these advanced artillery systems at a firing range mounted on HMM WV all-terrain vehicle chassis. Despite drone dominance along the front line, artillery remains the primary source of firepower in the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. Last winter, Ukraine faced a critical shell shortage due to a six-month delay by U.S. Congress Republicans in approving aid funding alongside the EU's failure to supply the pledged number of shells. This shortage provided Russia with a battlefield advantage, accelerating gains in eastern Ukraine, a process that continues to this day. According to Army recognition, these howitzers were supplied to Ukraine by the American company AM General. Reports suggest that the fire tests of these systems began in April 2024 following a secret delivery. Their presence near the front lines indicates successful testing and imminent combat deployment. The 2CT Hawkeye remains an experimental prototype with only a few units produced. Two of these units were previously handed over to the US Army for testing. The system's performance in Ukraine could play a crucial role in the Pentagon's decision regarding its potential adoption. The Hawkeye 105mm weapon system is a lightweight, modular, high-performance howitzer designed to be integrated with many types of combat transportation. By utilizing emerging technologies, it will set the standard for light artillery in the area of firepower, tactical mobility, strategic deployability, and command and control. The Hawkeye will be a superior alternative to existing weapon systems such as the 106mm recoilless rifle, 120mm mortar and other 105mm artillery systems due to its low-cost precision strike capability. The Hawkeye has incorporated a groundbreaking modular design. Due to its lightweight and low recoil forces, it can be mounted to many types of military vehicles including wheeled, tracked, rail, watercraft, aircraft and towed systems. This means that a performance-based 105mm artillery system can be deployed to the land, sea and air in ways that were never possible before. Additionally, the Hawkeye has been designed to accommodate a full spectrum of barrel lengths if range is a primary requirement. Theoretically, JSOW gliding bombs can be upgraded to cruise missiles which will allow strikes with a range of more than 500 kilometers, including Moscow. Oleg Katov, Ukrainian military expert, said this on the air on Radio NV. In particular, Katov reacted to the statement of the representative of the U.S. State Department, Matthew Miller, that Ukraine can strike at the territory of Russia with the weapons that it made on its own and that weapons production programs have been introduced in Ukraine over the past year. It must be understood that between the beginning of the program and the appearance of a large number of serial samples, time passes, and even in peacetime, when you are not bombed, when you have a national strategic program for the development, creation and mass production of certain weapons and military systems, this is so a bait for five to ten years, Katov said. According to him, such statements by the United States have nothing to do with the real needs of Ukraine. At the same time, he believes that the Western allies could transfer important weapons to Ukraine marked made in Ukraine so that there would be no questions to them. Why Moscow can do this, but Washington can't? Why Iran can do this, but conditional London cannot? Everyone can do that. We're not there. It's not us. They did it also. Katov added, at the same time, he drew attention to the transfer of gliding bombs to Ukraine and in particular JSOW. In my opinion, the only reason for the transfer of these rather valuable products is only one, the ability to convert them into cruise missiles. Because such a project existed, JSOW-ER. It existed from the late 2000s to 2023. It was closed a year ago. The US Navy's project, and it was closed due to the fact that they have a JSSM-ER cruise missile with a range of 900 kilometers. 
Therefore, the conversion of the JSOW glide bomb into a cruise missile with a range of 500 kilometers was not very interesting for them. There weren't those benefits. That is, the range of 500 kilometers for the United States in the issue of aviation weapons is not enough, Katov said. At the same time, he suggested that when converting glide bombs into cruise missiles, you can try to install the Ukrainian navigation system. Ukraine has such systems because somehow Ukrainian drones accurately hit oil refineries and the main missile and artillery directorate arsenals and airfields. Add the system, add a self-made jet engine. We will get a cruise missile with a warhead of 450 kilograms plus a range of more than 500 kilometers. This is the distance to Moscow for you to get it. And no one will ever tell us. You can strike or you can't strike. This is a Ukrainian missile. We use it wherever we want. Katov said.